The new Drone Racer is a product that flies near the ground and is controlled with a wheel radio. In fact, this exciting new hybrid machine is controlled just like an RC car. I'll explain how it works. Check the fuselage before flight. Be sure all props are positioned horizontally and that they're securely mounted. Next, install four AA batteries in the transmitter and turn it on when you're ready. The battery included with the drone racer should be fully charged before flight. The included USB charger can be plugged into a computer and most smartphone USB charger adapters. The battery is usually charged 100% within an hour or two and run times approximately 10 minutes on a full charge. Slide the battery into the bottom of the drone racer and connect the plugs. Connectors and wires should be tucked into the battery holder as well. The next step is to put the drone down on a flat surface. The green LEDs will flash at the rear. Wait until these flashing LEDs change to solid green. This means you're almost ready for takeoff and it's time to disarm the safety feature. Apply full throttle with the trigger and turn the steering wheel all the way to the left. The rear LEDs will change to solid red, indicating you're now completely ready for takeoff. Move the elevation switch on the transmitter handle up one position from the ground level setting. The drone racer will hover at a little bit more than a foot above the ground. Move the elevation switch up one more position and the altitude of the drone racer will increase to about two feet. Use this setting to go over obstacles and to overtake your opponents. To land, simply return the elevation switch to the ground level position and the drone racer will gradually decrease its altitude until it lands. Takeoff, flight level, and landing positions are selected at the tip of your thumb. The drone racer is very easy to control. Simply move the wheel slightly to the right if you want to go right, and left if you want to go left. Squeeze the trigger if you want to move forward, and push the trigger in the opposite direction if you want to slow down or go in reverse. Practice this until you're able to achieve a stable hover. Next, the drone racer will turn more sharply when you move the steering wheel more. Try using various degrees of wheel movement until you achieve the proper corner radius. Practice this until you can achieve your preferred line through the corner. The drone racer has two modes, easy mode for easy operation and active mode for quicker, more nimble control. Choose your level accordingly. This machine includes many unique, patented technologies. The KDCMS makes the wheel control more direct and intuitive, and the VPUS is a system that automatically adjusts the flight characteristics based on the amount of forward pitch in the props. In addition to all the onboard controls and those on the transmitter, there are additional controls available by connecting to a PC or an Android phone. These additional settings are available by downloading a free app for your drone racer. Let's go outside with your drone racer.